You're watching the morning news on Global Regina. Well, it is free fishing weekend here in the province. Jason Mattity from Cabela's Pro Staff joining us now to talk about just that. Thanks for coming in this morning. Thank you very much for having me. Free fishing weekend this morning, uh, an exciting time for anybody to get out and go fishing. Absolutely, you know, it's it's obviously targeted for those folks who maybe are going out fishing for the first time, don't have a license, uh, and uh, you know, if the weather holds up, mm -hmm. it could be a great weekend to get out there and try it for the first time. This is the first time the province has opened it up to ice fishing. Very In cool. summertime, you know, it's it's obviously happens quite regularly, so it's a very cool thing that they're doing. How are our conditions for ice fishing uh, this season? Yeah, well, I'll, uh, you know, the ice uh, conditions generally are pretty good. We had a, a cold Old December, January, uh, you know, it wasn't helping to thicken the ice, mm -hmm. but uh, certainly uh, it, everywhere I'm going, it's, uh, you know, at least 30 to 50 centimeters, so well over a foot of ice. Mm -hmm. So it's perfect for anywhere you want to go. But having said that, you know, watch the current areas, watch the river yep. mouths, big points where the ice can shift. You know, I'll always be careful on the ice, but the short answer, it's very good. What are we catching this time of the year? Well, um, you know, if you're going, as you can see on that one shot there, perch is always a good target species, mm -hmm. especially if you want to catch, right? Because they're a schooling fish, they're small, but they're numerous enough that you can kind of get into them. But a really cool fish at this time of year is the burbot to catch. And, okay. uh, and they're a ton of fun. I mean, as you can see, they're not real pretty. I often say they're, they they got a face only a mother could love. <laughs> but boy, do they taste good. And the cool thing is they're big and they're a yeah. nice little fight, you know. So uh, so they're really fun to target and they bite really well at this time of year. And the taste is good comparable to? To walleyes. Like, like it, it is, uh, you know, white flaky meat that, that you get out of the back sections. And uh, it's boneless up in that, that okay. area. And you can actually boil it, and it and it's kind of spongy. It fluffs up just like they call a poor man's lobster, okay. and you dip it in nice. poor man's lobster, I should say, and you dip it in butter, and it's really good. Nice, that yeah. does sound good. Mm -hmm. uh, you got a few lures here for some different yeah, different and, types. Yeah, and, and you know when it comes to targeting burbot, uh, you know lots of times we talk about being stealthy. You know we want to be quiet, especially for mm -hmm. walleyes and, and perch and stuff. They like it. They love it loud. They're kind of the rock and roll okay. fish world. Like you, you essentially take you know a big flasher jig like. Like I have here yeah. uh, with a blade on it or uh, you know a spoon anything bigger in your tackle box almost like you're pike fishing in a way and you go bang and lift bang and lift then pound it into the bottom and just get the silt and everything yeah. stirred up make noise be obnoxious with your lure and that's what they like and then all of a sudden you go to lift it and they're there and they'll just pin that thing to the bottom and they're like I'm taking you out right type of thing like it's a bait fish and, and so it's really fun in that respect too that you don't mm -hmm. you, you can kind of be far more aggressive and and uh, and yeah it's a lot of fun for sure that's awesome if people want to take advantage of this free fishy weekend what's the first thing that they should do well you know you really should go to the uh, Saskatchewan uh, environment website um, because there's regulations you have to follow just because you don't have to pay right. for the license you better know what the regulations are you know in terms of limits sizes and there's some lakes out there that have special regulations you know uh, smaller limits uh, and that type of thing so make sure you start there and of course uh, you know go to manatiesgetfishing.com which is our website for all that information as well as we have uh, two Cabela's seminars this weekend one in Saskatoon tomorrow and one in Regina on Sunday uh, we're going to be talking about burbot one o'clock both of those start in those cities awesome thanks for coming in this morning jason uh, definitely welcome. take advantage of the free fishing weekend if you get a chance next coming up in sports the scotties are officially underway this weekend i'll bring you a closer look at what you expect when the morning news continues but first here's a look outside with our global regina city cam brought to you by sask telmax tv